Hi. <laughs> I know it's been a month. I know I'm way behind, but I just thought I'd make this video. I'm going to be doing Resident Evil 3 Remake on Nightmare, not Inferno. I have completed Inferno using uh, shot using infinite uh, ammo. And then I did it again without using shop items. And I'm not going to be recording it. You know why? Because this mode is stupid. <laughs> And it is really hard to commentate and focus at the same time. And on Inferno, all you need is concentration. So I'm using Nightmare because I don't want you—I don't want you guys to see me just struggling through the through the nightmare that is Inferno. No pun intended. <laughs> but anyway, let's let's get started. Enough of the talking. I'm not going to be using any shop items except for the two hit pouches. I'm not going to be using using the coins or the infinite ammo. So let's get started. I'm also gonna be including all of the customers. I'll be going I'll be doing videos based on typewriter to typewriter. Well, this actually no, it's not faster us, so than any not disease in modern history. history. Alright, so I'm gonna stop talking about the room. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked out conscious in the uh, city wide emergency. The CDC has quarantined the lower midwestern region of the US. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. I'm gonna try to make this kind of a walkthrough like, but because I, I don't, I'm not really a professional at this game I, like I was on Resident Evil 2. Because I only play like Nightmare one time and Inferno three times, so I'll try to do my best. But I do know most of the enemy uh, placements. Every night.
Who could that be? Hello? Jill! Are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there! What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now! All right, let me grab my... <laughs> I'm gonna try to take out as little damage as possible so there's no more way. hits for the final boss. I think it's two hits for the final boss on Nightmare. On on Inferno it's one, well it depends on You okay? What was that thing? Damned if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. <gasps> this all happened so fast! I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. And as soon as the cutscene's over, you want to go to the left, so you can avoid that uh, tough zombie. Door behind you, go! Don't think about it. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always! Then do me a favor! Don't fuck up like I do! Go! You.
You don't want to fight the zombie. It's just a waste of ammo. Just turn right around. And if you hug the right, you won't get stunned by the billboard. Makes it a little, a little bit faster. Now this zombie is a pain, but you just want to wait for him. And perfect dodge him, or just regular dodge him. Just get past him. You could actually tank a hit if you want to, but you'll have to waste the ammo. There's some um, seven handgun bullets on this container here, barrel, whatever you want to call it. Now you should have 12. I'm not going to use it on these zombies here, but you can if you want to be safer. I'm confident in your perfect dodging skills. Now once the cutscene's over, you immediately want to go back, so the zombie doesn't double lunge and grab you. Dodge past him. No, I like to spam X here, but you don't have to. I just do it so you get the quickest input. Turret, damn it! It's my turn, bitch! And after you press R2, just start holding R2 again, so that way you automatically start the acceleration. Because sometimes it won't fully go, start. But it's just much easier to already have it held down. I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Is that your bobblehead outside? 
if you want to get it, but I'm not going to go all the way up there because it wastes too much time. Hey, what do you know about that monster? But I know there's one up there. I don't. I forgot where all the Nothing. places are, but I know there's like definitely it. one up there. But it's no zombie. Which you might. Knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that, in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. BCS was short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Look, you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on. It's this way. You can actually get a little boost from Carlos here if he runs into you. Just a little bit. But eventually it pushes you, pushes you to the side. Captain, this fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you. Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. We are at five minutes and 31 seconds. And this is slightly faster doing this instead of just running up the stairs, but it's not that different. You can you can just walk up them, well, run up them normally if you want to. Jill, it's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. And whenever you have those radio conversations, the timer actually pauses, so I recommend sitting through them while you head to your next location. And this watch is normally a red herb here. I don't think this one changes. The yellow ones will change sometimes. But they're not always the same. But this one so far has always been the same. And like I said, I'm going to be using the hip pouches, but that's the only uh, shop items I'm going to use. And you can keep the knife if you want to. But it's not that, it's not that worth it. But you can use it to check zombies, though. You do not want to bother with a zombie. You just want to run past him. Gotta get that train moving. What I like to do is not get too close to him. I like to loop him around this, uh, this little gate kind of thing right here. And look, he's all the way over there and we're safe. And when you come around this corner, there's going to be a bunch of zombies. Grab the flashbang. And try to throw it upwards, I believe. And now they're all stunned. Now you want to uh, dodge by this guy. I normally dodge by him. And handgun bullets in here. 
And you want to leap at that uh, crate right there, because it blocks that zombie. Uh, that one, right there. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. Uh, equip the magnum here. You don't have to. You can just perfect dodge around these zombies. Actually, that's what I'm going to do, actually, because they don't have to craft a companion. So, you can either shoot and kill two of these zombies, or you can just dodge around them. I'll just dodge around them to save the magnum rounds. For stage 2 nemesis, the one with the flamethrower. Dodged by him. I didn't get a perfect dodge off, but I still dodged him. And don't worry about these zombies. They're, they're going to disappear when Nemesis spawns. Just don't come back here, though. Wait, did I keep the knife? Oh, no, I didn't. Reload your handgun, don't forget. And there's also going to be a zombie outside here. And the safe code is 937. And you get the... I believe the laser sight kind of thing, it makes it so your reticle folks in faster. And open this, there should be some gunpowder in here. Now there's not going to be a zombie in here on Nightmare and Inferno. So you just want to run out here, but be careful because there's actually a female zombie outside. So you want to just bait her out. I like to at least try to get her down. And there's uh, one of these guys. I just like to use the magnet and get him out of the way. Now, there is some high grid gunpowder in there, but you're gonna have to deal with the zombie. So, if you want, you can shoot him with the magnum, or you can just run past and try to perfect dodge him. So, you have options. But, or you can just not deal with this at all. So, it is one, there is also a box in here. So, I'm I'm just going to play it safe. I can that zombie. I'm going to grab this yellow herb. Uh, not yellow herb, sorry. Green herb. Because, I'm going to try to do no damage, but no problems. You know? And also save it for a final enemy. You don't have to save it for Final Nemi, you can use it whenever you want, but I'm grabbing them for Final Nemi. And there is another crate back here, but there is a female zombie there. If you don't want to alert any more zombies than you have to. So when you come in here, there are going to be two um, up to any alphas and one regular zombie. When you grab the hose, one of them is going to bust through the door. And when, you, when he does, you want to shoot him in the head before he gets that little shield on. And that's all, honestly the hardest part of this, uh... There you go, got him. That's honestly the hardest part of these three zombies. And honestly, you could use a grenade if you want. There's actually quite a few left over. There you go. That should have killed both of them. Just check them. No chances. Oh! He's actually alive. Okay. Uh, that's kind of bad. But honestly, you should use the handgun bullets for now, because he's damaged already. Oh! You do not want to let these guys hit you, because they are going to stun lock you until they get close to you. And what you actually can do is, when he gets close to you, you can leave this door and he kind of loses you. Oh. Kind of loses you for a bit. Whenever you leave, so you can kind of use it to get a free shot on him. There we go, now he's dead. Pretty good so far for magnum for magnum bullets and uh, uh, 45 pistol round pistol bullets. I almost said rounds, but anyway, I think we come back here when we get the lock pick and the bolt cutters. When um, after we do that whole sewer like section, not the sewer section, but that 
sort of thing with those bugs, spiral like things that infect you with parasites. Then we're going to come back here when Nemesis is here and we have to turn on the subway. So we're not going to do this yet. But I believe a zombie busted down this door. Actually, no, that's only when you grab the shotgun, actually. So there is some stuff back there. But I'm going to wait until I get the shotgun because there's going to be two of those any alphas. And it's, it's much easier to uh, kill them with the shotgun ammo because you have so much anyway. And you want to decap decapitate the zombie, but not yet. Because we don't have the shotgun and, we, and it's not worth wasting a bagging around on this guy. So we're just going to kill him. Surprising, this is the best run I've done so far. On the Nightmare slash Inferno like difficulties. He's dead. Because normally I normally get hit trying to kill those any alphas where, near where the shotgun was. So you can come in here, another green herb, and you can save if you want, if you're doing Inferno. And there's some gunpowder, which we're going to combine, because it is more beneficial to make pistol ammo instead of shotgun ammo, because there's so much just laying around. And you can combine these if you want, but I don't recommend it, because just wait for the red herb. And I'm going to keep this on me, so I can craft into magnum ammo. So, I believe I go out that door. Oh yeah, I do. Because we have all the stuff needed. But I think it's act actually... It might actually be easier to take the stairs back. Because I forgot what's outside that door. I think those zombies are still there though. So, so all I have to do is deal with one zombie. So you want to be careful when you open this. Because it's going to be... Waiting to ambush you, but she's out of the way for me. If she's not for you, just shoot her and stun her, then move on. So I'm actually gonna go back this way. Not down these stairs, but to the ladder. Cause yeah, see those zombies are over there. You have to perfect dodge past them, which is much harder. Than just running over here and avoiding that one zombie. And I'm gonna shoot this because I have enough ammo. And now I have a red herb. Which we can combine to make another full heal. And you want to shoot this barrel so you can kill these zombies. They should be dead, but be careful. But you won't come up here again until after the RPG fight. So there's no real worries. But be careful of the zombie right here. Here, he's really close to me here. I'm glad I didn't accidentally store the hose. Anyways, we're going to come in here, we're going to get the bolt cutters. I'm actually going to make my first save, because this section is a pain. And I'll make it after I get my inventory, so I don't have to... Actually, I'm do it after I get this door. And trigger that cutscene, so I don't have to re-watch it every time. You also get some shotgun ammo, so that's nice. Can you be see us? Yeah, careful, careful. Don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an effective. No, 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 wait, please! <gasps> what the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars, this soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Go back to the subway station. I don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. Grab these four shotgun shells here. Then we're gonna come back in here and then we're gonna prepare our inventory for the uh... Actually we don't have to do it here. Actually now that I think about it. Because we still have one more mini section. Before. But if you're on Inferno, it's a recommend just save there. Don't take the risk. And back here there's some handgun bullets and a note if you need it, but I don't because I already got all the collectibles. And when you come around this corner, some zombies are going to spawn. Well, not zombies, zombie dogs are going to spawn. So you want to move up here, trigger them. Yes, there we go. You want to stun one to give the other one time to get over here. You want to zap them, then finish them off. 
Okay, I actually didn't kill him. There you go, I actually didn't kill him, that was bad. And you, you're actually, oh, he's not dead either. Thought he was dead. Whoa. Feisty little guy. Got a critical hit on him. But it doesn't matter because he's like a one shot away from death anyway. So you can actually snipe these any the alphas from here. And they won't attack you. And since you're shooting the back of their head, it does more damage than if you were to shoot their little opening at the front. But it's kind of tricky to hit this guy here. The back of their heads do more damage to these guys than the front does. You don't want to get too close because then they can start attacking you with their tentacles. Which will not be good. Go, still have a decent amount of ammo. Okay, we're going to come over here. This is my least favorite part of the game. Well, not this part, the part after this. Like, those things are just so annoying and so inconsistent. I can props to people who can do no damage, so... You can actually come over here, lure this girl over here. You're not going to kill her because she despawns after you uh, do the thing with the... Are you serious? Okay. Okay, I'll just lure both of them over here. And what are they doing? They're just... What are you doing? Yeah, that's right. Come over here. Careful. No, he actually got me. <laughs> oh, I should go straight to danger. Inferno that would normally kill you. And on Inferno, it actually puts you on caution. So I don't actually know. I think because that guy pushed me to the ground. I think that's why I did more damage. But anyway, I did take damage there, but mostly because those zombies weren't listening and weren't coming to me at first. So, grab these. I'm just going to combine these for now. And I'm actually going to put these away because you don't want to waste all of them, but it's recommended to grab an extra herb. And this section is going to be a pain without the shotgun. So if you want, you can grab the manual and the assault coins. You do more damage to those bugs. And that's actually all I'm going to grab because you get the lockpick. And then you get two green herbs free. And there's actually another one inside the this little area over here. Like, oh, I don't even want to think about and it. I'm gonna trigger this cutscene. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna grab this now. Grab the lockpick, trigger that cutscene, then I'm gonna go back up there and save, and then that's where I'm gonna call it. <laughs> oh my god! And we're gonna want to open this case when we get to the door. And make sure you have a green herb ready, so you can get rid of the parasite. So now you're gonna be stumbling really hard. Kind of like, kind of works like the poison and resistance. You just move really slow, actually. And for the uh, trophy, where you're not allowed to use healing items, you're actually able to use a green herb there, and it won't count. So you can basically have one instead of zero. So I'm gonna go back up here and save, then I'm gonna end the video. And put the shotgun shells away, because it's a waste of space. And you don't need either of these for now. You can grab them when you come back, so you have more inventory space. So I'm gonna save. I'm just gonna save over my inferno because I already finished it. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna end it. We're at 18 minutes and 37 seconds. Not bad. Uh, so anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow.
I think I'm going to continue this tomorrow. I'm going to try to do, do at least one part daily. But since it's late, I'm only going to do one tonight. So, bye.